lawmakers plan to add what's being called ballot candy to a measure that could be on the August primary ballot. Ballot candy refers to extra items meant to make a proposal more attractive to voters. Joe McLean reports on the strategy that critics call undemocratic. Under the resolution, any citizen-led ballot initiative would need to win not just a statewide majority, but also a majority in at least five of Missouri's eight congressional districts. Speaker of the House Dean Plocker posted on social media that his caucus plans to attach other provisions to it, including a ban on non-citizens voting and banning foreign entities from donating to domestic campaigns. But importantly, those are already against the law. They think the citizens are dumb. They think Missourians don't know that they themselves, Missourians, a hundred years ago, made it illegal for non-citizens to vote. They're assuming that people don't know that. Scott Charton works with Missourians for Fair Governance, opposing the resolution. He says supporters of it predict voters would reject the change to the IP process on its own, as they have recently in three other states. You can imagine then why politicians would want to wrap all that in what they are cynically calling sweet, sweet ballot candy, but it still tastes rotten. The resolution sponsor, Senator Mary Elizabeth Coleman, admitted that she plans to make use of the controversial ballot candy strategy. So one of the pieces that was suggested in here will limit what other people can do moving forward. So there is absolutely ballot candy in this Senate substitute. No, there's ballot candy here, but you, you're, you're eliminating that going forward? That's right. Really? <laughs> Seriously? Okay. All right. And Republican Senator Rick Bratton, who leads the far-right Missouri Freedom Caucus, openly criticized citizen-led amendments. I, I think it's uh, ridiculous that we're amending our Constitution that all people abide by. They all swear an oath to protect and defend and to allow direct democracy to occur. If sponsors are successful, this question will go before Missouri voters in the August 6th primary election. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News. Students at 